Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. If you ever want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid, meaning this could resonate for you, past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right, so what do we have here? We have the Sword and the Rose, which says clarity, truth, revelation, celerity, honor, force, power, protection. We have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Okay. All right. And we have girl with a snake. So empath, a narcissist, paradigm, being charmed, or used, and able, and boundaries. Under the deck says, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wants to date. So overall, this is a really beautiful energy. But there is somebody here. And I do feel that it is somebody. It doesn't have to be a physical romantic connection that someone's already involved with. But there is somebody who doesn't want you and this person to be together. There is somebody trying to create conflict where it doesn't. there doesn't need to be any. Uh, let's see what else we got about this. Your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. This is general, however, so it can be flipped, reversed. Some of the energies can scatter around. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Oh my. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Something has ended. There was a long-term situation, possibly a marriage. Okay, could have been a family situation that someone's kind of cut off, but I do feel like for some of you that a marriage ended on your side or theirs. Uh, there could have been kids involved. Uh, and somebody no longer wants to heal that situation. Someone's kind of moved on, recovering from it. But there's somebody from the past that doesn't want you to move on. They don't want you, they, may, they may want to reconnect with you. Somebody may hear about your engagement. And it could be a fire sign, like a very jealous woman, perhaps. Uh, and they kind of get aggravated or frustrated seeing um, the two of you happy together. Let me look at your person, looking at their thoughts, their feelings, intentions, and the potential actions towards you. So what are they thinking? Too many cards, please, Spirit. Please be very specific. What are they thinking in regards to the connection with Aquarius? The full New beginnings with you. You could be done with an Aries or somebody with strong Aries in the Taurus. of Leo Sagittarius. All right, what are their feelings towards you? We are not going to take all of those. Let's take one card, please, for their feelings. Okay. We have the Five of Cups. They may feel like there's a missed opportunity with you. All right, uh, what are their intentions with you? Okay, the Ace of Cups. What actions may they take? Five of Pentacles. They be leaving somebody in the cold. Under the deck is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so they may have been giving too much to the past. I mean, there could have been, and again, take it resonantly, but it's not. There could have been like an ex, baby mama, work situation, something that they were really divided uh, because they were trying to give to so many different energies. They were trying to do so much, and it kind of shortchanged your connection is what I want to say. Um, some of them that could have been given to family. They could have had like an ex or children. They were trying to kind of juggle everything around. I don't feel like somebody was really romantically involved with someone else. Now, whether they were physically in the process of divorce or leaving a situation, that's possible. But I don't feel like there was somebody that really had their heart. I feel like this person wants to give to this with you. And I feel like they're not allowing anyone from the past to try to interfere with this anymore. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're offering you their heart. They're trying to spend more time with you. They're trying to show you. They're trying to make things balanced with you. They're giving you their emotion. They have all this anxiety. They have anxiety for how they treated you in the past or for not giving more to this. Leo energy with the strength card, the page of wands, the knight of cups. You're going to be hearing from this person. They want a chance with you. They want to date you. They want to get serious. They want to like settle down. They want to propose. They want to, and again, not all of you are physically about to get an engagement ring. Again, this is general. So there's a large collective of, of people. Take it how it resonates. Some of you, if you're not at that stage yet in this relationship, it could be, can we make things official? Can we make it Facebook official? You know, tell our friends, announce it, move in together. You know, here's the key to my apartment. Let's get a cat together. You know what I mean? Like there are some way she performed there's, there's movement this is about progression not necessarily you know somebody popping the question getting down on one knee though that is very prominent here for some of you depending on what stage you are in this relationship this is symbolic of taking the next step whatever that is for your relationship 
Um, I do feel like for a lot of you, this is about announcing it, making it known, making it public, like talking to the family about it. Someone's saying that, you know, something has ended in my past and I'm walking towards my new beginning. I am getting some cross watcher energy. So for some of you, this could be reversed, but I'm going to read it how I see it here. Uh, with the sun card, I feel like this is like, say, talking, it's like making it known, making it public. Somebody could also be sitting down with their kids and talking about your their new relationship with them. I feel like this is very healing for for your connection. I feel like you've been through a lot in the past. I feel like for some of you, this relationship could have started and didn't really get off the ground in the past. And now there's another opportunity at this because somebody feels like if they don't take action now, they're going to regret it. They're, they know they need to do this. They want to do this. For your stone today, I was specifically drawn to a Herkimer diamond. So some of you may want to use one of these stones in your own meditations or look at the properties. Yeah, there's just about healing and recovery, which is interesting because I do have this. So, I mean, some of you, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll turn the comments on for this because I had them off I don't know some of you might be questioning that just because I've been so overwhelmed with all of the comments trying to get caught up with them and I don't have enough moderators so if anybody wants to volunteer to help me moderate that'd be amazing <laughs> anyway um yeah I feel like there's truth like they're doing right by you they're they're making this no making this public announces taking things to the next level partnership there is somebody though that may be very narcissistic you know maybe trying to like uh, manipulate them in some way but I feel like that's not necessarily really going to matter it's like they can do whatever they want to do and say what they want to say but at the end of the day they're going to try to commit to you they may be shutting this person out so their thoughts they want to take a risk with you they want to have a new beginning with you they may be asking readers about you they may also be also be very spiritual as well but they they want to try this with you they want to they maybe look a little bit of an impulsive energy as well. Like they're just so excited to kind of rush back in and really get things going this time. In their thought, their feelings, like there, there was some kind of missed opportunity from the past. They didn't take this chance and they regret it. Should have, would have, could have. If I could just go back in time, there's so much that I would do to set this right. But the thing about it is, though that opportunity has passed, there's another one here. And they're not about to let this get away. They've missed you. They thought about you. And they're ready for a new beginning in love with you, the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person loves you and their intention is to have this new beginning. But they're going to have to shut something out. Now, some of them may be leaving a job or family or losing a lot of money. That's for some of them, okay? All right. What do they want to say to you in regards to the situation? What do they want to say? What would they tell you? We have our memories together bring me comfort. So yeah, they're thinking back about the past and what you guys had and you know how it made them feel safe and secure and happy. I don't feel worthy of your love. They don't feel worthy of you. Your love, your forgiveness, you know, how affectionate you've been, how kind, how generous. They may have, you know, did something in the past to not accept something with you or not move forward. And there's a lot of regret for that. Our story isn't over yet. So the saying is it's not over. It's actually just beginning. And they have promises they want to make to you. They want to make things right with you. There is so much I plan to reveal to you in time. They want to have time to really go over all this with you. Tell you what they think, what they feel, what they regret, what they want to do, what they should have done about the past. So many things they want to open their heart to you. But they feel like they need time to do this. It's not something they can just do overnight. It's like it's going to take a lifetime to really reveal all of this to you. What happened? What should have happened? What they regret? What they're thankful for? You know, what they dream about? They they want they want this with you. All right. Two cards. So... Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. 
For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And this one here says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. I feel like this is a message more so for the people around the two of you. I think there are some people who don't approve of this for whatever reason. If they're jealous or whatever. Maybe a bit spiteful. Like say, I don't feel like any of this matters. Uh, I, I think that this is about other people needing to accept this because they're going to stand up for this connection with you, trying to bring balance. They want this new beginning. They're shut, shutting people out who don't approve of this connection. There may have been people who try to guilt them into doing what they wanted them to do. Well, you know, our kids will never understand why you're dating someone new so soon and blah, 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 whatever the case may be. Well, you shouldn't date this person because you guys come from way too different backgrounds. They're too old for you. They're too young for you. They're too tall for you. They're too short for you. They're too this for you, too that for you. They're too blah, blah, blah. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is the two of you are happy and you're together. And this is about the two of you not missing this opportunity again. Because somebody has regrets about that. So that's what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for those of you that generously sent in donations. They are truly appreciated to keep this channel going. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.